sexual reproduction is a fascinating and complex process that allows for diversity in life. By combining the traits of two parents, it ensures that each new generation is unique and well suited to survive and thrive in its environment. Unlike asexual reproduction, where an organism can copy itself, sexual reproduction requires two parents each contributing something special to create offspring that are a mix of both. Imagine it as two artists blending their paints to create a new color. Each new creation is a little bit of both. Here are some key aspects of sexual reproduction with examples. In sexual reproduction, special cells called gametes are involved. There are two types of gametes, sperm from the male and eggs from the female. These gametes carry half the genetic information from each parent. Think of it like a zigsaw puzzle where each parent has half the pieces. When they come together, the pieces fit perfectly to create a complete picture. In humans, the sperm and egg meet to form a new life with a mix of traits from both parents. Fertilization is the process where the sperm meets the egg and they combine to form a single cell called a zygote. This zygote has all the genetic information needed to grow into a new organism. Picture a seed and soil. The seed is like the zygote and with the right conditions, just like the soil, it will start to grow into a plant. In animals, Fertilization usually happens inside the female's body and the zygote begins to develop into a baby. One of the coolest things about sexual reproduction is that it creates genetic variation, meaning that the offspring are not identical to either parent but have a mix of traits from both. Imagine mixing two different colors of paint, let's say blue and yellow. The result is green a new color that's different from either parent color. This is why children may look a bit like their mom and dad but are still unique individuals. After fertilization, the zygote begins to divide and grow, eventually developing into a fully formed organism. In many animals, this development happens inside the mother's body but in others, like birds, it happens inside an egg. Think of a caterpillar turning into a butterfly. It starts as a tiny egg, grows into a caterpillar, then goes through a transformation to become a beautiful butterfly. In humans, the baby grows inside the mother until it's ready to be born. Sexual reproduction involves specialized organs in males and females. Males have testes that produce sperm and females have ovaries that produce eggs. These organs play a crucial role in creating the gametes needed for reproduction. It's like a factory where the male and female each produce their own special product. The factory, reproductive organs, ensures that the products, sperm and eggs, are of high quality and ready to combine and create something new. Now has a question for you. What is required for sexual reproduction? Only one parent, two parents, no parents, a parent and a clone. Leave your answer and thoughts in the comment below and we will see you in the next video.